Consider the following scenario. You have already created a chart with your dataset and now you need to add additional entries both to your dataset and chart. Wouldn't it be great if the chart reflected the change in your dataset in real time? Hello everyone! Welcome to Excel Demi, your day-to-day -day Excel and VVA tutorial helpline. This is Hadiul Bashar and today I'll demonstrate how to expand chart data range in Excel. For this video, I'll use Microsoft Excel 365. Here is the employee salaries dataset. This includes the name and the salary. You can see that a chart is already created using this dataset, but this is a static chart, which means if I add new records to this dataset, the chart won't get updated automatically. Let me recreate the chart from scratch so that you can understand the problem properly. I'll create a clustered column chart using the existing dataset. Select cells B4 to C9, move to the Insert tab from the Charts section, Click on insert column or bar chart. From the 2D column chart, choose the clustered column chart. So this is the chart using the existing data set. Now I will add new data in row 10. Move to cell B10 and type the name. Next input the salary and hit enter. You can see that a new data is recorded but not included in this chart. To include the new data in this chart, click on the chart area. This will highlight the data points of this chart in the worksheet. Now place the mouse cursor to the bottom right corner of the blue border and a two-headed arrow appears. This is the sizing handle. Drag the sizing handle up to cell C10 to include the new record in the chart. That's it. You can see the new record is included in this chart using the sizing handle. You can use the select data option to add new records to this chart. To do so, right click on this chart area and move to select data. This opens the select data source window. The already selected data points are displayed in this box. Now to include the new data point from the legend entry series, click on edit. Edit series window is open. The series name is perfect, this is salary. I need to change the series values to include the new data. Select the current values. Discard it and choose cell C5 to C10. You can see the new salary is added in this chart. Now click on OK. To add the name from the horizontal category axis labels, click on Edit. The new record is not in the current selection, so I am reassigning the range. Choose cells B5 to B10 and this adds the name to this chart. Now click on OK. Again, click on OK to close the select data source window. That's it. This completes our chart. Converting the dataset to a table is a permanent method to update the chart whenever you enter a new record in the dataset. To create the table, select cell B4. You can create the table in two ways. Move to the Insert tab. From the Tables section, click on Table. Or you can press Ctrl plus T to create the table. This opens the Create Table window. You can see the entire dataset is selected. Now click on OK and the dataset is converted to a table. To change the style of the table, from the Table Design Contextual tab, in the Table Styles section, click on this drop down icon. Here we will find different available options to change the style of the table. In my case, I am selecting None. The style of the table looks good. Now if I enter a new data to this data set, the data will be counted as a part of the table and the associated chart will be updated automatically. Let's create the new record. Select cell B10 and type the name. Type the salary in cell C10. Great! The new record is reflected in this chart instantly. You can use named range to update the chart automatically as soon as we enter a new record to this data set. I'll create two named range including the name and the salary. To create the first named range, I am selecting cell B4. Move to the formulas tab. In the defined name section, click on define name. This opens the new name window. You can see name that is the value of cell B4. In the name field, I'll limit the scope of the named range to this worksheet so I'm selecting on this drop down arrow and choosing named range. I want this named range to refer to all the sales in this name column. To do so, I'll use the combination of the offset and the counter function. First of all, select the current formula and discard it. Type equal offset. 
The offset function in Excel returns a cell or range of cells that is a given number of rows and columns from a given cell or range. As a reference argument, I am selecting cell B5 that is the first name in the name column. Now place a comma. As the rows and columns, place two zeros. Now to determine the height argument of the offset function, I'll use the counter function. Counter function returns the count of the non-empty cells in a given range. I want the counter function to return the number of non-empty cells in this B column to get the name of the employees. So as a range, I am selecting the B column. Close the parenthesis. To exclude the header from the total non-empty cells, subtract 1. Close the parenthesis and click on OK. In this way, the named range for name is created. Now let's create the named range for salary. Select the cell C4. This time I will use the name manager option to create the named range. You can either click on the name manager or press Ctrl plus F3 to open the name manager. Here you can see the name that I have just created. If you need to edit the name, you can click on edit. In my case, the name is perfect, so I am closing this window and clicking on new to add the new name. In the new name window, you can see the name is salary. One thing I can mention here that this is a very similar process that I have just followed to create the previous named range. So this time, I am moving a bit first. To change the scope, click on this drop down and select named range. In the refers to field, I will use the formula to create a named range including all the salaries in this data set. I have copied the formula beforehand and now I am pasting this formula here by pressing Ctrl plus V. In this formula, the reference argument is C5, that is the first value in the salary column, and the argument of the counter function is column C. Now click on OK. In this way, our named range is created. Now you can create a link between the named range and the salary. To do so, right click on this chart area and move to select data. I need to edit the legend entry series, so I am clicking on edit. As a series value, I'll use the named range that is salary. Select the last part of the formula, discard it, and type salary. Now click on OK. This time I will change the horizontal axis labels. So I am clicking on edit. Again discard the last portion of this formula. And type name. Click on OK. Finally click on OK to close the select data source window. In this way the chart is connected to the named range. So whenever I am entering a new record, the chart will get updated automatically. To verify this, let's create a new record. Move to cell B10 and type the name. Type the salary in cell C10 and press enter. You can see the chart updates automatically as expected. I have demonstrated the step-by-step -step guide for expanding chart data range in Excel. Hopefully, you can apply this knowledge to make your own chart according to your requirement and convenience. You can download the practice workbook from the video description to sharpen your Excel skills. Feel free to leave any questions, suggestions, or feedback in the comment section below. To check out our Excel blogs, you can visit exceldemy.com. For more content like this, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching our video. Bye!